Hello everyone, it's me JB from Unique Tutorials. Today, in this video, I'll show you how to pin any file like document, text, image, video, music in the start menu of Windows computer. So, without further more delay, let's begin. So, right now I'm using a Windows 11 computer. So, if you're using a Windows 10 or Windows 7 or any older Windows, still this trick's gonna work for you. So. Firstly, let me show you. Say here, I have some folders, video files, email files, document files, and text files, right? So, if you're using a uh, Windows 11, then you can pin this folder. So, let me show you. If I right-click on this folder, you will get an option to pin to start. So, if I click on pin to start, and if I go to the start menu, and you can see here, this folder can be easily pinned, right? So, let us check with the other files like the text files so if I right click on it and if I go to show more options also so you won't see here any pin to start right so if you so if you check this document file also so there is no such option to pin to start but if you right click on a folder then there is an option to pin to start so how you can get uh, such kind of pin options for any kind of files present on your respective Windows computer so for this what you need to do is just open any web browser and in the google search just search for one application name as ncptor by dc members and on the first list you will see its official website just click on it now you can see the official website right and you can see on the below here download option just click on it to download this application wait for a few seconds so the file has been downloaded so let me go to the folder where it is being downloaded and let me close this web browser and now just double click it to unzip this zip file now just open the unzip folder now you will see here some files and the last one is the application so in order to use this application just right click on it and just select this run as administrator if you're using a Windows 10 or Windows 11 running computers and if you're using a Windows 7 computer then you can directly run it without using a run as administrator and if it does not work perfectly without running as administrator then just select this run as administrator so now you can see the user interference right so it's a very straightforward so you can just click on this the first option install to context menu so once you click on this so you can see here successfully installed now once you click on the successfully installed now let us try back the same thing before which you have done so let me right click on this text file and let me click on this show more options and now you can see your add to start and if I click to add to start it will show you some more instructions so just click OK and after that let us open this window start menu and you can see uh, all apps so let us go to here and let us search for text so it will start with a T letter so here you can see here and now you can even pin on the front page of the Windows 11 start menu just right click on it and you can just pin it in the front page of the start menu you can see here so you can unpin it again also if you use but still it will be in the all applications so you can see here and let us try with the other files like the documents whether we can add it or not so here is the option just click on it click on ok let us move back click on all apps and let us check in the document so you can see here you can add the document files like the PDF files or any other document files even the Word, Excel, Pop and whatever document files you can do the same tricks and let us try with the image and you can see here add to start menu so let me click on it click on OK let us go to the all apps so you can see your image and let us try with the video also you can see here add to start menu click on ok 
and let us move back here to the all apps and let us check in the video so you can see here and even you can pin it in the start menu front page so you can see here we have added right so if you want to remove this files that is being added by you so if you want to remove like say I want to remove only this text file not all the files right so I just want to remove this text then what you need to do is here you can see under the applications you can see your start menu folder right just copy this location or you can visit the location by following this or you can directly copy it and just open the file explorer and now here you can see just paste this folder location and just hit enter now it will directly take you to the application folder now you can see all the shortcuts that has been created so I just want to remove the text file so you can see here I just want to remove this text file so let me show you so here it is I just want to remove this not all the file which I have added to the start menu so just select it and you can just click on delete or you can just select the delete option so let me just click on delete and let us move back to the start menu and we'll try to search for this text so you can see under the T sections there is no more text so by going to this start menu folder you can just delete the respective files that you have been added to the start menu so if you want to delete just select all the files that you have been added in the start menu then you can just click on delete then let us check now everything has been removed so you can see the video has gone now and even if you go to the all apps everything has been removed so we can see here no image no movies or video files or anything so using these applications you can easily pin any file like document text image video music in the start menu of any windows computer so if you want to remove these options that is which is being added on the context menu if you want to remove this option then just move back to the same application and you can see here uninstall just click on it and now if you right click on any applications you won't see that options again so in my opinion it's a very cool applications to let you pin any file in the start menu of windows computer so if you never known about the school applications then definitely you should give it a try so if you find this video tutorial useful please click on the thumbs like button and if you're new to our channel click on the subscribe button and lastly thanks for watching